Yo, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this sick spinning showcase effect all in After Effects. Enough talk, let's just get straight into it. Alright guys, first step. You can see with my scene it's moving around a lot. So first thing I want you to do is type in 3D Camera Tracker. If you don't have this plugin with the space bar, just go to effects and presets and then just do it from there. One thing to do with your 3D camera tracks is go down to advanced and click detailed analysis. Now wait for that to finish off and we'll move on to the next step. All right, it's been about 30 seconds. Now look for the most consistent track points from the start. Mine is the table. So I'm gonna highlight all of the ones on the table, right click, create solid and camera. So now if I play through, this solid should be basically stuck to the table. And it is. That's exactly what I needed. So now what you're going to do is get rid of the solid. Now what I want you to do, you want to go to your web browser and go into Sketchfab. I've linked this down below for you guys to download so you don't have to search for it. Make sure you log in, go down to here. We're using a 9mm Lugar shell. What I want you to do, go down to here, download 3D model. Now we're not using GLB just yet. In these tutorials, we're going to be using OBJ. That's what we need. So OBJ, download. All right, once that's done, you're going to have two folders, textures and sources. Now, what I want you to do is go over to the camera layer, right click, new, solid. It can be any color, it doesn't matter, because that's going to be gone anyway. Drag it underneath, then add in your plugin element 3D. Now, element 3D is a paid plugin, isn't it? So if you can't afford it, that's fine. There's plenty of other ways to get it. It's definitely worth it to have in your arsenal. All right, so this is the Element 3D menu. Now, it looks like a lot at first, but trust me, as you get on, it will all get better. So first thing I want you to do is go to Custom Layers, Custom Texture Maps, Layer 1, and then click your clip that's underneath, okay? That's going to help a lot. So we're going to go to Scene Setup now, wait for it to load up. Now, once that's loaded, I want you to go over to Import. Then from here, I'd like you to add in the OBJ file from the sources folder. Right, then you should have some menu come up like this. Physical shader, bump, yeah, sure. This, we're all gonna fix this anyway, so just press okay. You should have absolutely nothing. This is normal. What I want you to do now is press normalize size. Now you're just gonna have this white plastic bullet. It's not looking very nice, is it? Now, materials. I could make a whole video on materials, but I'm not going to. Now, we're not going to wire each material to all of the files in the texture folder. We're not going to do that this time around. So what I want to do is go to presets. Then there's two things here. I have got pro shaders. Again, it's paid, but you can find it elsewhere if that makes sense. Definitely use this. You, you will be using this a lot if you're using Element 3D. Or if you don't want to find it elsewhere or you don't want to pay, then gold so go into physical go down to gold drop it on and you should have some looking like this now you're probably wondering well where's the nine millimeter luger kind of sign on the back well let's fix that then so now i might get rid of your normal bump that's completely fine just load texture and stick it back on and boom look at that clean man clean but i can't lie i, I I'd, I'd rather use my pack so metal once you have this pack, go down here, keep going down till you see metal gold dirty. Stick that on, get your normal bump and switch it to the same normal bump we were using earlier. And boom, I'm going to turn it up a little bit, turn this down a little bit. Just again, tweak the settings to make it look all nice. That's what we want. Stick that on 100. And that is my bullet done, as you can see. All right, on to the next step now environment as you can see you know when we selected that earlier it's popped up here now so when we click that watch this you see it's come up with the picture here now let me explain this so can you see all these reflections in it now so now it's going to look 10 times more realistic because it's getting the reflections off of our video so as we move through as you can see look once you click ok it's already mapped to our 3d tracker but as you can see as our clip's moving, the reflections are actually changing on the bullet. And you'll see that more in effect once we move on to the next step. So now, next step. All right, so you've got this really weird looking bullet in the scene. And you can notice it's a bit shaky on the camera as well. Well, why is that? 
is because our track is over here and this is way too forward on the Z plane so it's going to look very shaky as you can see it's just shaking before anything so what I want you to do is go to group one particle replicator and position Z I'd like you to move it backwards so now you'll have something a lot more stable if I just left it there let me move it to the side actually so you can see better do this again just it doesn't have to be a specific number you'll know when it's right so now when I do this it should be still you see how it freezes in frame that's exactly how I wanted it have a look perfect you see it's staying exactly where it's supposed to stay just that little gap so now we're going to start animating it first I want to do this bring it up I want it to be around this area here this little gap area so do this and actually I want it to be a bit bigger as well so I'm going to move it forward just about there but also again tweak to your liking so I'm going to go back into scene setup and then back onto the 9mm Luger I'm going to scale it up to about 175 I should have something looking like this now again yours is going to differ but look see what I was saying about the reflections earlier now you can see them reflecting off as the scene goes through sick man next step now animating it so let me just tweak it a little bit more i want it over here a bit further back just around there so i want mine to be spinning in a circle so what i'm going to do is go into rotation first off get it in the position i want it to start in i want it to start around let's say let's say there that's fine so keyframe Y rotation go to the end and I want it to rotate let's say one entire rotation around let's see how that's looking not bad so far huh? but we still got a lot to do so let's not pause there I want mine to tilt up a little bit whilst we're moving just to make it look a little bit cooler so I'm gonna have it tilt up around there at the end so now I've got something looking like that you see this just like a floating bullet look how cool that looks Boom. All right, next step now. All right, next step is to start smoothening and making things look even nicer now. So first, what I want you to do, right? Motion blur. Now, you can either use this here. Yeah, it's all right. But then you can also do it through here as well. So render settings, motion blur, and on. You can use that by all means. But again, I've stressed this in the past. I'm going to stress it again. Effect rsmb pro it's paid but you can get it other ways i can't stress enough to you how much i've used this by far the best motion blur one i've used ever so far so highly recommend it man okay just with the motion blur it instantly blends in better with the scene look at that instantly better right but now we're on to the next step so deep glow paid but get it other ways if you can if you use a normal glow, look how weird it turns out. Trust me, you need deep glow if you want it to look cool. So, look, just as that, man. What is that? That's not what we want, yeah? So, deep glow. Boom, look at that. Already improved it. I'm going to have it tweaked around there. Maybe a bit brighter, actually. And now this is what the preview is looking like. So, now that's looking even better, man. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. But, you could just finish it there, but... It wouldn't be an on the cam video if we didn't drop more source for you so i'm gonna time it a little transition so you see when he drops his hand like a little shoo, shoo, that's when i want it to be so i'm gonna chop mine to about here also chop the other clip with Control shift d add a little metric color i want the focus to be on the bullet so i'm gonna make this a black and white by reducing the saturation to zero so now all the focus or the focal point for the viewer will be on the bullet yeah as you can see it just stands out over everything else and that's the kind of effect i'm going for if you wanted to be more blended in then you, i guess you wouldn't need to have it black and white but choose to your liking so now the effect's looking sick but there's one thing you may notice it's just a very jarring transition here, so it's time for us to fix that Control alt y we're going to be using a little source from the previous videos. Back three, cut. Front three, cut. Delete, delete. 
Now, we need to add brightness and contrast, but this time I want you to add camera, lens, blur. So now we've got all these three here. Keyframe blur radius at the end. Also, I want you to keyframe brightness and contrast, okay? Now, highlight all keyframes, control C, control V, and then in the middle, just brighten them all up. So I want mine around that. Have the blur radius around 60, wait for it to load, and this is what it's looking like now. Nice, but it's just not strong enough in my opinion. So I'm gonna actually, watch this, just, just duplicate over the top. Now let's see what it's looking like. Now that is exactly how I wanted it to look. How sick is that, huh? Well, that's the end of it. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Most importantly, I hope you guys learned something. Whatever you want to see next, make sure you drop it down in the comments. I'll be sure to take a look. Have a good night. Safe.